Well, let's face it. So many of us this year have fallen on hard times, and it's really been a difficult time for a lot of people. But here to help us out is happiness coach Danny DeNovo. You're sharing five tips to help us make our holidays joyful, even during this tough time. Good morning to you, first of all. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and happy holidays. Good morning. Yeah, happy holidays. This is a, this is a tough subject because a lot of people are thinking, I don't know how I can just, you know, happy, happy, happy when this has happened and this has happened and this has happened. But is it sort of just a matter of shifting our mindset, our outlook? How does that work? I think it's about shifting your mindset, but it's not really realistic to ask you to just sort of flip the switch, right? We've had a really long, hard year. So I think it's more of little things you can kind of do every day or things you can do during this holiday season that will help sort of build up a momentum towards feeling a little bit more positive. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, let's start with number one. You say switch the script. What does that mean? Yeah, it's just time to get rid of some of those old traditions and bring in some new ones. Now you can keep the ones that everyone loves and that you have fun with but it's really the year to do things differently, right? You gotta make it look different. That's what makes it more memorable. And we just need some new energy to come in, right? So maybe it's time to turn off the TV, prepare a meal together if you are meeting with people. If you're meeting virtually with family and friends, let's change up the script. Let's talk about something new and let's have everybody weigh in on the subject and really connect via conversation. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Connect via conversation. Okay. Number two, you say honor each other. Yes. It's been a really long year and hopefully you've gotten to spend it with some people who are really close to you and maybe you have it. But those who are really meaningful to you, have you let them know that? Have you honored them by telling them you're important to me, you're important to my life? Hopefully you've had a little self-reflection and looked at the things that are really important to you. So if there are people in your life who are meaningful to you, let them know that. And maybe even tell them something that you admire about them, maybe something you've never told them before, or something that really stood out to you about them in 2020, their resilience or their fortitude or their strength. It's really great to hear that on the other end that will help you connect and bond even more. I love that. I feel like bringing happiness to someone else brings happiness in turn to you as well. So that's really a good one. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Number three, you say amusement. Yes, you have to have a little bit of fun, a yeah. little playfulness, right? So one year for Christmas, my uncle told all the other uncles that he wanted a boat for Christmas. And so my dad and the other uncles went out and found this beat up old canoe and they put it on his front <laughs> lawn in the middle of the night with all this old, you know, sailor junk yeah. in it. This is a joke. And when he woke up the next day, everybody was there to watch him, you know, come out and see it. And, you know, it was just lightheartedness. It was fun. I'm not saying you necessarily have to go to that extreme and prank anybody. But yeah. like I said, just a little lightheartedness, a little playfulness, a little giggling, a little laughter. Yes. It's a little easier if there's kids around. But even if there's not, you know, find a way to interject a little humor into it. So too, laughter can certainly be the best medicine. Okay, number four, you say recognize the year. Yes, I'm sure a lot of us have spent a lot of time complaining about the year, but how much time have we focused on any of the good that 2020 has brought us? If you look for it, you can find it. Now, I understand it may be really hard to find it for some people. I understand yeah. that, and uh, you have my sympathies, absolutely, but there are little nuggets of good that have been sort of scattered throughout the year. So pick out those little nuggets and put them in your pocket and keep them with you and carry those with you into 2021. And you say, lastly, energy, increase it. Yes, yeah, so you need to buff that up, right? By yeah. times 125. Here's the great thing about energy. It's contagious. You get to set the tone. You get to be the yeah. leader. Oh, I here. love that. Yes. And so do stuff that makes you feel really good so that you can make other people feel really good too. And you have no idea how far down the road that energy will stretch and how many people it will eventually touch. That is fantastic. I hate that we have to wrap this up, but where, we, where can we learn more or perhaps follow you or just, just get some um, confident advice and to make ourselves feel good, uh, at least for the rest of this year and into next? You can find my books on Amazon.com and you can find more about me and my happiness tips at DannyDenovo.com.
Love it. A little bit of happiness can certainly go a long way. Danny, thank you so much for your time and happy holidays to you. Thank you. And I hope that you make your happiness the highest priority this holiday. Oh, love that. Thank you so much.